At least 15 of the mothers who were originally in contact with Peterson are still getting help here at Shared Beginnings Adoption Agency. Four of those mothers have decided to keep their babies rather than allow them to be put up for adoption. Executive Director Michelle Amonti says Peterson's federal court hearing traumatized some of the Marshallese mothers. I think they had determined sort of what direction that they were moving forward with and everything like that and had just really started to feel safe again. Um, and definitely his hearing here and then being released on bond just brought everything back to the surface for them. Paul Peterson was released on bond this week as he awaits trial on human smuggling and adoption fraud charges. Monty says none of the women felt comfortable talking on camera. I think that several of these women are just feeling um, a deep, deep level of sadness. They got into this and wanted to make an adoption plan because they knew that that was what was right by their unborn child and um, what would help their family to survive, honestly. I think that it's really hard when you're trying to do something right to have so much scrutiny put on top of that. Since Peterson was arrested, adoption attorney Justin Heimer, who works with Shared Beginnings, has been dealing with the fallout. I've talked to so many families who had paid tens of thousands of dollars to Paul Peterson, who likely are never going to see a penny. Um, many of which never have heard from their birth mother that they were working with again. Um, they're heartbroken, they're out of money, they'd like to pursue adoption again, but uh, the, they can't afford to. It's been a heart, heartbreaking experience. Monty says two babies have been born since Peterson was arrested. She also told me at least 12 babies are due by the end of the year. In Fayetteville, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.